We've all lost money. It's a hard pill to swallow, especially when we know there's no way our money's coming back. However, with Bitcoin, it is so much worse because you know the money is there, but completely irretrievable because you've forgotten a simple password. Ouch. Number 1. Peter McCormick, $1.2 million loss. McCormick was doing quite well with his advertising agency in London. He had a team of 35 people working for him with a decent turnover. However, when the company folded, he turned to Bitcoin. It was a case of too much too soon, and McCormick said he became overambitious. His dream was to own his local football club and was aiming to save £5 million. And while his Bitcoin was gaining value, he was spending the profits as quickly as they came in. Then the Bitcoin bubble burst, and McCormick lost around $1.2 million. He was fortunate it didn't break him and he now runs a successful podcast that he absolutely loves. Number 2. Stefan Thomas, $220 million Programmer Stefan Thomas has been locked out of his Bitcoin wallet. Thomas had 7,002 Bitcoins stored on a secured hard drive and he can't access them because he forgot the password. The value of the inaccessible Bitcoin is said to be around 220 million. The coins were stored safely with an iron key device that gives you only 10 chances to enter the password correctly. Thomas had tried several times with no luck. The last update in January 2021 was that he had two attempts left. He's made peace with a potential loss, but we're not sure we have. It's a shame there's no prompting question like what was the name of your first pet or what was your favorite toy as a child. Fortunately though, you don't need a password to subscribe to our channel, so be sure to do so, Aluxers. Number 3. Anonymous German Man $500,000 In our video, 10 Companies That Hold the Most Bitcoin, we told you the story of a German man who lost half a million dollars worth of Bitcoin. As we said, this poor guy in Germany lost $500,000 worth of Bitcoin after believing a tweet posted by an Elon Musk imposter promising to double his money. With the clock pushing for urgency, the man gave away all of his Bitcoin and then had to break the news to his wife. We don't know his name and we're guessing he'd like to keep it that way. Number 4. James Howells, $56 million His interest in Bitcoin began in 2009 and by 2013, James Howells had mined 7,500 Bitcoin. At this time, he sold his computer on eBay for spare parts but kept the hard drive that he had his mining information stored on. Around the same time, Howells did a big cleanup of his house and accidentally tossed out the hard drive. The drive ended up in a landfill in Newport, South Wales along with 350,000 tons of other waste. Despite his best efforts, he hasn't gotten permission to search for the missing drive. In his words, shit happens. Number 5. Matthew Mellon, $500 million Banking and money are in the family of Matthew Mellon as he is a direct descendant of Judge Thomas Mellon, who founded Mellon Bank in 1869. Matthew Mellon was chairman of the New York Republican State Committee's Finance Committee. He took an avid interest in crypto and spent around $2 million on Ripple. Mellon's XRP is worth around $1 billion, but Aluxers, there's a massive problem. Mellon died in Mexico in 2018 and has stored his private keys in cold wallets across the country. To this day, the coins are still exactly where he left them. Number 6. David Stubley $475,000 Founder of Seven Elements cybersecurity firm, Stubley is a perfect example of what not to do when trading crypto. Stubley had his Bitcoin wallet accessed by fraudsters by clicking on a Fising link. Of the 84 Bitcoin he had, the thieves left him with one. When this happened in 2017, their value was $475,000. Apparently, it was possible to trace where the Bitcoin went, ending up in a wallet containing $15 million in currency. Although the fraudsters could not be identified, the wallet was frozen, which meant the funds could not be accessed. The funds today would be worth over $3 million. And Aluxers, if you want to ensure this does not happen to you, we suggest you check out our Bitcoin Essentials resource that we believe is the best for blockchain and Bitcoin knowledge, especially if you're just starting out. Go to alux.com slash Bitcoin and enroll now. Number 7. Mark Frauenfelder, $30,000 
Okay, we get it, 30K isn't much in comparison to others on this list, but it's a tidy sum of money and most people would feel that pinch of losing it. Co-founder of Boing Boing, Mark Frauenfelter, gives his age-old blame the housekeeping service for the loss of his password, but really he should have been more careful. He admits he wrote the passphrases and PIN down on an orange piece of paper, left it lying around, and the housekeeper tossed it. Frauenfelder was so desperate he even tried hypnotherapy to remember the digits. Long story short, he's one of a few lucky ones. Trezor, the hardware wallet where he was storing his coins, did an upgrade. He followed a Reddit thread and found out that people were able to exploit the update. It took a lot of effort, but he successfully managed to retrieve his pin, passphrase, and his 7.4 bitcoins. Number 8. The Winklevoss Twins – $600 million now, before you lose your shit, the Winklevoss twins are worth around $1 billion each. Tyler and Cameron Winklevoss got their claim to fame when they sued Mark Zuckerberg, accusing him of stealing their idea for the social media platform. They won a $65 million settlement from the lawsuit. It's said the twins bought 120,000 bitcoins, which is roughly 1% of all the bitcoins in circulation. You know how the figures fluctuate, but at one stage, their bitcoin was worth $1.3 billion, while others suggested as high as $2.34 billion. They're now worth around $720 million. It doesn't seem an amount that will plague the brothers that much. Tyler and Cameron Winklevoss told CNBC they believed Bitcoin could reach as much as $500,000 within the decade. Number 9. Gerald Cotton – $190 million the story of Gerald Cotton has many holes. It's secretive, mysterious, and needs a super sleuth to solve. VanityFair.com starts the tale off like a novel. When Canadian blockchain whiz Gerald Cotton died unexpectedly last year, hundreds of millions of dollars in investor funds vanished into the crypto ether. But when the banks, the law, and the forces of Reddit tried to track down the cash, it turned out the young mogul may not have been who he purported to be. Cotton was the founder and CEO of Quadriga, Canada's dominant Bitcoin exchange. He ran the company from his MacBook Pro. Cotton struggled with Crohn's disease and in 2018 was said to succumb to complications from the disease. There is speculation there might be more to the story. Cotton had crypto worth $190 million, owing to 115,000 customers, and to date, the data has not been accessed and the case remains unsolved. Number 10. Alex Jones – $562 million you might recognize the name and face, and that's because Alex Jones is the host of InfoWars and The Alex Jones Show. Jones is no stranger to a little conspiracy theory, so he would have loved the story about Gerald Cotton. He was given a laptop by Bitcoin proponent Max Kaiser, containing 10,000 Bitcoin. At the time, Jones was super skeptical of Bitcoin, so he didn't give it much attention. When Bitcoin started gaining momentum, he tried to find the laptop, and of course, it's gone, never to be seen again. Number 11. Elon Musk In our video, The Top 10 Companies That Hold the Most Bitcoin, we mentioned that Tesla owns $1.5 billion worth of Bitcoin. And Aluxers, while we can't provide you with the exact figure, Musk lost his position as the world's richest person when he lost over $15 billion net worth in one day. This was due to Tesla's shares plummeting more than 10% after they invested $1.5 billion into Bitcoin. Number 12. Derek Rose – $10 million In his own words, Rose said, I lost more money in Bitcoin than most people will earn in a lifetime. Rose was interviewed by Katie Kenny and Laura Walters on their podcast, Superfad. He wanted listeners to know that he wasn't looking for pity or sympathy, and the money he lost was purely his own. Things happened quickly for Rose. He converted $70,000 into nearly $3 million by placing leveraged bets on two cryptocurrencies called EOS and IOTA. He started off strong and patient, and had a debit order going off on his account investing in a quarter Bitcoin at a time. But as the bottom line kept increasing so quickly, he decided to cash in everything and take a risk. And that's when things went awry. He's learned his lesson and intends on trying again, although this time armed with knowledge and experience. Number 13. Amelie – $120,000 
we don't know much about Amelie, except that she's about $120,000 down in her net worth than she used to be, all because of a silly error. She was keeping the files of keys for her 10 Bitcoin in a folder which she accidentally deleted. Hopefully she can take to heart what Satoshi Nakamoto said about losing Bitcoin. Lost coins only make everyone else's coins worth slightly more. Think of it as a donation to everyone. Number 14. Chris Larson, $44 billion. Hey Luxers, we mentioned Ripple a little earlier and Chris Larson is one of the co-founders of the company. By creating a coin that people trade, Larson began 2018 with roughly $60 billion. At this stage, the coin was trading at $3.10, but plummeted to $0.45, cents, resulting in a loss of $44 billion. Ripple is not as valuable as Bitcoin or Ethereum, and at the same time this video was written, it's trading at $0.49. Cents. Fortunately though, the loss didn't impact Larson severely, but Ripple has a long way to go to be on par with Bitcoin or Ethereum. Number 15. Another anonymous German man, but with a twist. This story is slightly different because local authorities in Germany have confiscated $84 million in Bitcoin from an anonymous man. But there's one problem. The man won't give up the password. The man in question was jailed for two years. His transgression? secretly installing software on other computers that mined Bitcoin on his behalf. His lawyers are saying he's forgotten the password and cannot retrieve the money, like so many others before him. And let's be honest, how can they really prove him wrong? Alright Alexers, what's the most amount of money you've ever lost and how did you lose it? We'd love to hear from you. And of course, you stuck with us until the end, you know you're getting a bonus. We mentioned just 15 stories of Bitcoin being lost, but to date, nearly 4 million Bitcoin are gone forever. The value is estimated to be around $140 billion, and according to chain analysis data cited by the New York Times, 20% of existing Bitcoin is either lost or stranded in digital wallets. The best advice we can give to you Aluxers, don't lose your password. Thanks for watching. Show your support by subscribing and leaving us a thumbs up.